Hi, I'm Glenn Orpheus, and this is my review of the Cy Russia Bandit electric folding bike. So, what's the Cy Russia Bandit like to ride? Well, first of all, let's go over the specs of the bike. Moving across the handlebar from left to right. First of all, we have the comfy foam handlebar grips. Behind these, you can see the hydraulic brake lever. Next to these, I've installed the throttle. And then, you've got the computer display control. Moving across into the middle, We've got the large liquid crystal color display and smart computer readout. And on the right hand side of the handlebar, you've got the nine speed gear selector, behind which you've got the brake lever, followed by the right side foam grip. Then below the handlebar, we have the motor style front forks with preload adjustment on both left and right side. Front and centre of the bike, we've got the large 250 lumen front light. Right in the centre of the bike's frame, we have the locking and folding mechanism. Then below this and underneath the frame, you'll also see the key socket. This is for securing the battery, or if you wish, to remove it. Next up, we have this very comfortable seat with rear light, with three modes either on, off, or flashing. And below this, we have the rear sprung-loaded suspension unit. And then below that, we have the dual-sided crank and pedals. And then moving to the rear of the bike, we have the 750 watt motor. But please note, this is limited to 250 watts if you're living in Europe. Also, the Shimano Duralia. And not forgetting, on the front and rear wheel, we also have the hydraulic brakes and 180mm brake discs. Folding the bike couldn't be simpler. Just pull back the sprung-loaded handle and away you go. This also gives you access to the 17 amp hour battery if you want to take it out or put it back in. And lastly, not forgetting the large 26 inch by 4 inch fat tyres the bike also comes with rear and front fenders and a kickstand. Let's start with sharing some of my thoughts about the bike. So it's quite a heavy bike to begin with, um, but obviously you do have a big battery and a motor on the bike, which does bring the overall weight right up a bit. So 34 kilos with the battery installed or uh, 30 kilos without the battery. If you're looking also to buy this bike, then one thing to take into consideration is that you need to be at least five foot 11. That is the minimum height requirements for this bike. Now, as far as range goes, well, it will get to 60 mile range, but take into consideration that you're riding on a nice clean surface on a flat surface that is um, without any hills and um, only using the bike in pedal assist mode one now obviously if you increase the pedal assist modes that increases the speed uh, to the motor uh, but that will decrease your range so just be aware if you're 
riding the bike in pedal assist 5 mode then your probably likelihood of a range around about 28 miles again that's on a flat surface that's not hills the one thing I did find a little bit disappointing though is that there's no rear rack for this bike so just be aware the bike comes with a 750 watt motor or restricted down to 250 watts if you live in Europe which is a top speed of 28 miles per hour unrestricted or a top speed of 15 miles per hour if restricted now there are ways to unrestrict this bike but um, that's the subject for another video the bike comes in three different flavors that being this red and black that uh, I've got here completely black or blue and black folded up the bike is almost 38 centimeters by 45 centimeters so it's handy if you need to save on space overall I found the bike to be a real pleasant ride and well worth the money so if a foldable e-bike is something that you're looking for and this fits your needs then I'd highly recommend this bike so that about wraps it up from me if you've got any questions about the bike then please drop them in the box below in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them so until the next time bye bye